mat, we're going to be working with donkey kicks. I love donkey kicks. It's a great way to get the heart rate up. It's a great way to energize the body. And it's not for the faint at heart, but you're building up your body strength. You're building core strength. You're building fascial integrity. And it's a great prep for that jump transition if you're choosing to engage in such a style of transition from down dog into forward bend, from forward bend into down dog or plank. All right, so we're going to come into downward facing dog. Fingertips nice and wide, bend the elbows, fold to the elbows forward. Really important that upper body setup. You're going to end up dumping into the middle of the shoulder blades and really using the upper part of the shoulder in that internal rotation, which is not great for the rotator. So we want to make sure that we work on that broadness that should be happening in a pose like down dog. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring it back. Pick up through the ribs, really pick up through the belly down and back. You feel like the belly is hollowing, fingertips nice and wide. All right, give a slight bend to the elbows, bend your knees, really deep core contraction, almost feel like your belly is hollowing itself or doubling over, really, really strong. Inhale and exhale. It's like you're trying to jump into a handstand but then changing your mind last minute. Exhale. Notice how when I come down, look at how low I am. I'm letting my hips come to my heels like a spring. Inhale. Looking towards my thumbs. Exhale. It's not a quick movement. And when our calves and our fascia are nice and pliable, and healthy and supple, we don't feel clunky. When we're trying to just do it with our knees, it's gonna be really, really hard. Whew, I'm kinda out of breath. It's gonna be really hard to create that coil and recoil. Think of a spring on a pogo stick. If you take the spring away, the pogo stick doesn't bounce. Your spring are your calves and your fascia. That needs to be supple. I can't stress enough, foam rolling, myofascial release, good fascial work with a massage therapist, and releasing the calves. Most of us just have really tight calves, and then we're trying to come into poses that the calves should be lengthened in, or released in, and they're not, and then we struggle. So this is definitely one of those. So, if you're gonna use this in class or in your practice, I would say 10 is usually pretty exhilarating, and then giving yourself a breath or two in down dog, and then you maybe coming down into devotional or transitioning then into your next posture, like a runner's lunge or even forward bend. So let's do 10 together. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four. Notice how I'm looking forward. Five, towards my thumbs. Six, you can't even hear me hardly. Seven, except for me, my breathing. Eight. Nine. Ten. And in between each of my donkey kicks, there's this kind of slight still bounce, keeping that momentum going versus a dung, and then you're waiting, and then you have to get that momentum going again. I played tennis when I was in high school, and there's that kind of always bouncing, that just kind of spring in your foot, ready to get the ball. That's because then it's harder to go from a dead stop into movement versus constantly kind of having that movement going. Not to be distracting, but to just be ready for the next round. So not for the faint at heart, a good challenge. Even if you can just do one or two, I know that you're going to start to feel the difference in your body. Great job.